And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, that doesn't look very loud, but it's fine. So today I'm going to show you guys how to work with multiple forms on one project. Now you may be wondering, wait, what's a form again? I have no idea. This is a form. This this thing here that that's a form. So if we run it, the form pops up and we can do things on the form. So what I'm going to show you guys to do is how to manipulate the database but from a different form. Because this form is becoming a little bit, you know, full. So we want a second form to make it look less full. So let's add a button. And this button, we can call it B10 Manipulate Database. And this button is going to basically hold a form that's going to allow us to manipulate the database. So we can delete these two buttons to make the form look less full. Then we can maybe create another form, not in this video, where we can do all of this, you know, searching and stuff like that. So let's put it right here nice and big for the user to click on. Okay. Now, to create a second form, we first need to go to New, or File, New, and VCL Form. Not VCL Forms Application, because that will give you an entirely new application. A form, because we just need a basic form. Boom, now we have a second form. Now first thing you'd want to do is you want to go to file and you just want to say save or just control this, both works perfectly fine. And then you want to give it a name. In this case, I want to go FRM manipulate FRM underscore U because it is a unit. Just like these, this form right here, that's a form. So FRM and as you can see underscore U. So we can just click save and Yes, okay, just ignore that you shouldn't get that pop-up, but I did. So I actually made a checklist of what we'll need to do. So first we'll need to learn how to show the form. So, but before we do that, let's just make it look beautiful. Let's just give it a button or two. Okay, and then before we continue, let's just give it a name. This will help us later on in the process. You don't need to, but it does make the process easier. Now, I just like to make at least one button work to show you guys how it works. So I'm just going to copy everything inside of delete. I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste it. And okay. And before we continue, just like in this form, we need to import, so we have to import DM connection underscore U because we want to manipulate the database and we can manipulate the database by using this data module we created. Okay, now you just go control D, control S. That should fix any problems we may have. Now, let's just run this very quickly. Okay, now that it's running. Let's go you click on this button that we created. You might notice that nothing's happening. We're not getting another form or anything like that. That is because we have to add special code to make the form appear. Firstly, we have to import the form because this application doesn't know the form exists. So we have to import this. Okay, and that will import this. And let's see right here. Now, remember how we gave our form a name? We called it FRM Manipulate, as you can see. Now, that's how we're going to address this form. We're going to address it by saying FRM Manipulate. And then we want to open it, so dot show and we said dot open now basically dot shows just says okay we have the form just show it to the user and invisibilize it if you want to do it like that so let's run it again and let's test it out okay now let's click on manipulate database 
As you can see, a second form pops up. We are lucky enough to be allowed to use both forms without any problems, although this form does stay on top. Now let's say we want to delete the, from this database. Now because we did already do the code, we can just click on delete and let's delete one. Beautiful, the record was deleted. Now let's close all of this. Now you might be wondering, okay, but what if, just hear me out, what if we tried to hide this form, this one right here, because what if that was a login form? You don't want that to stay there the entire time. Or what if this was a login form? I mean, you don't want this to stay here the entire time. So what you'll need to do then is you'll have to go um, self dot hide. Basically what self means is self says select this form and hide it. You can also, if you want, you can go here and just click on that. This is a form connect. So if you want, you can go from connect dot hide. It does the same thing. This one just specifically shows this form. And this one just says find this form and hide it. So both works the same. This one is just more specific. No, or not more specific. It's actually less specific, but it shows that it's this form. So if we're going to run this. Now if we were to click manipulate database it disappears and we can do whatever we want. Now if we close this, you might have a few problems trying to run it again and we'll get to that on a later stage but right now it keeps running in the background as you can see right here. Go to users, select your user and just stop it from running in the background. Okay, once you've done that you can run the application without any problems. And what's next on the checklist or to-do list? Okay, so now to close the form. What if you had a button on this form? And that button had to close the form because maybe the user doesn't click the close button or they can choose when it should close or whatever. So then you can go self.close. Basically, it's just the same as self.hide. It closes this form. It terminates the process. It is basically the same as clicking this red button right here. So if we run this and we click on manipulate database and on the edit button which we coded to close, it will close the form. Easy as that. You can also hide it and whatnot. Okay, so I just showed you guys how to work with Form 7. I explained that it keeps running in the background. Let's say we hide this and we run this, and with it in we close. It keeps running in the background no matter what, right? So what we then have to do is we cannot cross-reference in Delphi, which means we cannot go here and say frm uh, connect db underscore you that's the other form we, we can't say that because even if we run this right now it's going to tell us hey, that you can't do that you see it gives you the error there because you are not allowed to cross reference here circular unit reference you only one may be referenced per form or not one like if i reference this one from this form then on this form this shouldn't be referenced and then on this form it should, or it's very confusing, but just know that this form cannot reference this form right here if this form is already referencing this form and vice versa. Why are you giving me errors? What did I do? I didn't do anything. You're just full of nonsense. Okay. Now let's go back to where we were. Now let's say we do that and we then try and show this but we cannot show it we can't go frm connect db dot show we, we can't do that Delphi doesn't know what frm connect db is we didn't import it but we can't import it because Delphi doesn't allow us so what do we do then before the self.close because remember once self.close closes you cannot run anything else basically it stops the whole process so what you're gonna do is we're gonna go application dot main window 
or dot main form dot show basically this will just show the main form so we do not cross reference we just tell it hey select application find the main form and please show it and now if we run it we shouldn't get any errors we shouldn't get anything running in the background because we're going back to the main form so now manipulate database main form hides we click on the close which is just inside of the edit and there we go now if we close this the whole process will stop before it didn't and that is how you basically have cross reference and stuff like that and what's also important to just go to your projects options and then inside here go to forms and just set your main form because if you don't set your main form it's going to or if you don't set the one you want to be your main form is going to open the wrong one so your for your login form is not your main form that is just a login form that should open first but it's not your main form just remember that and right that's basically all for this video if you guys want to see more on what you can do with different forms and stuff like that you can just create your own form just say like a for him manipulate dot and just scroll through all of this and you'll see what you can do there's a ton thing ton of things you can do right here and yeah thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and learned something see you all in the next